Yes, I think so. Our best guess at this point would be that he wants a Canada style trade deal. The complication is that the EU wants um, something actually a bit more constraining on Britain because it says, look, you're much closer uh, uh, than Canada is to the EU, so we want to tie you in a bit more. And that's where the uh, controversy may be. There is the Northern Ireland question um, of what that does to goods moving from uh, the UK mainland to Northern Ireland, where I think you know, it's, there's a risk of underestimating just how controversial that is within Northern Ireland. Well, Bronwyn, I, I mean, it's very fluid here, and I still don't have a handle on what happens in February, March, and April. Is there active negotiation here, or do we just sort of slip our way through 2020? Uh, that is not the intention on either side, but it hasn't quite get, uh, got going yet. Both sides are just sort of forming their, their positions, particularly on the European side. Um, I think with the Brexit day out of the way, you will begin to hear much more very quickly about the shape of negotiations. And there are all kinds of deadlines right in the middle of the year about whether the Prime Minister, if he was going to ask for an extension, he insists he's not. But if he were going to, that's right in the middle of the year. There's a, a, a deadline for agreeing on fish, immensely controversial, also in the middle of the year. So stuff has to start to move pretty pretty quickly. But I think, you know, the broad, if there's going to be a conflict, it's about this, this word of alignment. Um, the European Union wanting more alignment from the UK with its regulations than it's asked from Canada or pretty well any other free trade agreement. And that's where, that's where the jostling is going to be.